Hey, Al. Thank you so much. Well, we're, we're all situated. We're getting ready in our LA studios here. Adrian Wojnarowski, Chine Agumake, Richard Q. Jefferson, oh. and oh. Kendrick Perkins. Oh, it's the jacket. Al Duncan mentioned it. Victor Wembanyama making his Madison Square Garden debut tonight. The expectations have already been set. He even said it today at his media availability. I don't want to be called the unicorn. I don't want to be called the unicorn. It's overused. What did LeBron say? I'm the only alien. What are you expecting from him tonight? No, I'm expecting to do the things that we've seen from him all season long like do things that we've never ever seen before that's the thing to me that's always impressive with him is when he's blocking shots when he's running the floor when he's knocking down threes we've never seen a player be able to do the range of things and I look forward to New York City getting the first dose of that well on the Knicks side of things we've seen Julius Randle struggle a little bit early on this season but he put together his his best game I would say of the year in their last game where do you think the Knicks rank when you're looking at the Eastern Conference here Perk well, I mean, they rank right in the middle of the pack. I mean, right after Milwaukee, Boston, and the 76ers. Here's the thing about the New York Knicks, right, when you think about it, is they have to fight for their life to make sure that they secure that fourth seed. Now, I know that's way down the line, but their ceiling right now with this roster is a second-round exit and possibly a first-round exit, depending where they fall for us in the playoffs. But again, Julius Randle got to continue to play good basketball, continue to trust his teammates, and continue to know that he's the number two to Jalen Brunson. Hmm. Uh, Perk's exactly right. The, the Knicks, that, exactly. The, the, <laughs> Knicks, the Knicks are in that four to six range in the East. Yeah. Uh, at best, they're probably a second round playoff team. It's hard to imagine them beating one of those elite teams that are best of seven. Sure. But where the Knicks are right now is in position. Uh, with four of their own first-round picks, four uh, other first-round picks, eight total, uh, ten second-round picks, and all of their pick swaps to go out and do a big deal, whether that's at the trade deadline, whether that's at the draft or free agency. But the next big players who either ask out or become available, I think the Knicks are in great position uh, asset-wise to go get a true number one player. Jalen Brunson has been outstanding for him. You've seen him. Uh, he brought a credibility to this team, and, and he's been outstanding. But there's another level of star they need to get. They do have the assets to go and do it. And that's a great point, Woj, because there are very, very few teams in the NBA where you have to constantly re-audition to stay. New York, Knicks, that's one of those teams. Los Angeles Lakers, it's just the pressures of the city that you're playing for the franchise that you're playing for. And I do think that, as you mentioned, Jalen Brunson is someone that has accepted that challenge based off of what his game does. Julius Randle, it's been a little bit more bumpy of a road because the reality is, is that they have the makings at the very baseline level of being a quality team, which is why I have them as tier two, not tier one like Perk outlined with the top teams. Yeah, the Celtics, the, East, the Bucks, the 76ers Sixers. even. Maybe we They're could learn a lot two. about them tonight They're as well. They're tier two. And tier if two. Julius Randle is able to play like he has last year as an all-star, number four is cool. But if we're seeing more of what we have seen so far this season, I think he's third worst in the league right now in field goal percentage per his area. It's going to be harder for them to climb back. Sure. Far. So Julius Randle had 27 points, 9 of 21, though, still from the field, 10 rebounds against the Los Angeles Clippers. How concerned are you about what you've seen from him in these early goings, Perk? Well, I'm very concerned because, again, it's not about if Julius Randle could go out there and put up 20 and 10. It's about him taking that next step. We watch guys like Jason Tatum, right, take, take that next step of being able to make guys around them better. Be efficient, get yours, and get guys around you their shots and quality looks. And Julius Randle just haven't done that.